Hi guys, I thought I would do a quick vlog for you. I haven't vlogged um, for quite a while. I was actually going to do a clothing haul for you on the Sunday, but I woke up um, about five in the morning, got dressed, ready to go to this budget and do some shopping, and I heard a noise, which was actually just um, that clock there banging on the um, side of the fence. And it was still dark outside, obviously, so I turned the back light on, which lights up the whole patio. And our little dog... And our little Maximus was laying out on the lawn, and I knew straight away that he had passed away. Um, yeah, he wasn't sick or anything, he was really old, but I like went, I didn't even come out here, I was just like, I called him obviously, and I knew he wasn't, you know, trying to catch some sunshine because there was no sun out yet, so I just told James, um, I said I think Max is dead out the back. Yeah, so it was really, really awful. It was um, two weeks today. And it's been really weird without him. Um, he was 13 and a half years old and he was the best little dog ever. Like he never dug holes, never chewed anything or anything like that. Um, and this was the first pet that the kids have lost as well. So yeah, we're all pretty devastated. So we buried him in our back garden and we put um, a nice plant over like where we buried him. So this is my garden that you would have seen before in my gardening vlogs. We planted this beautiful shrub here over him. It's got these beautiful little purple flowers that are just beautiful. And I've planted in the nursery and we've got all um, pansies. We've got white and purple ones and stuff. And we've just put them all around there. So he's still in the backyard with us. So that's quite nice. Um, yeah, I was saying to everyone, it's so weird how, um, yeah, like you do much, so much stuff that you don't realise, um, yeah, like when you, when we lock like open the back door, I'd put my foot in the door as I'd open it because he'd like want to come and get inside all the time. So my nose is itchy, I've like been out gardening and it's like, yeah, make my nose really itchy. Um, but yeah, and even been in the canteen. And you know, there's a few bits of ham that I was going to dump, and I thought, oh, I'll take that home for Maximus. And then, like, oh, um, yeah, so many things. It's really horrible. But, um, yeah, we've been looking at getting a new puppy. Um, I actually had my eye on a boy um, puppy, but I went down to this lady's house. It's actually from Wish Rescue. So, when you get the dogs, they're all. Um, microchip their worms and vaccinated and all that kind of stuff um, so I took Missy Moo with me and we went along and had a look oh my god I'll insert the video in here of that experience <laughs> go Scarlett go there oh, he's beautiful call him. now call him like I do Dude. Oh, <laughs> oh, look, he's just so beautiful. Oh, look. Oh, good girl. Yeah, just wait on the floor. Oh, That's fantastic. <laughs> my poor mom, oh my gosh. You're all right, Darren. Oh. oh, look at this one. Oh, told you they're all cute. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No. Yeah, go toilet. Yeah, look at them all. My oh. big ones are all trained to go, trained to go toilet. Yeah. Oh, they're beautiful. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this one here. This one. And you, and you, yeah. Mm. 
Mm. I could have stayed at this house all day. It was just amazing. But we ended up um, choosing a little girl because the boy that we wanted, he was a little bit bigger. Um, she's going to get big, but he was a little bit bigger than I wanted. She's only seven weeks old and he is, um, I think he's about 13 weeks old. And he's already had an operation this boy dog that we were going to get too because he swallowed a sock. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, on the way there, Scarlett was like, I wonder if there'll be, you know, one little dog that will sort of like come to me or whatever. And this little girl, she did just that. And she just loves Scarlett. Um, yeah, so we're going to wait till we get back from our holiday, which is in a few days. I'm so excited. I'm so, I've been so like run down like as you know I was sick I've been sick twice and I've had cold sores and yeah it's been really stressful there's been so much happening at the school um but yeah so we're looking forward to getting her when we come back um we're still we have a name we like but we're not going to sort of make it final yet I said to Scarlett like we want to bring her home first and let everyone meet her and yeah, she's just, oh, she's just absolutely beautiful. Can't wait to bring her home and shower her with love. So Missy Moo and I went to Kmart yesterday and we bought a, a bed and a blankie and some toys and um, some lovely bowls and that to eat out of. So, but yeah, she's just beautiful. So the puppy we chose, um, she wasn't actually even advertised yet. Um, because they'd only just got them. This lady, um, she's like a foster mum for all the puppies. So, um, yeah, there was um, seven, eight, maybe eight babies that were in that one litter. And they were just all so beautiful. It was really, really hard to choose. We were there for about an hour and a half. Um, yeah, but this foundation, yeah, they're really good. Like you pay, works out about 750 bucks in the end. And then once you, once you get them sterilised, then you get $100 back. And they make sure, yeah, that you're looking after them. They actually come and did a yard check, took photos of the yard and everything. So it's like, it's pretty full on. But yeah, I reckon it's good. So it's, you know, when people buy their pets and they don't look after them very well. Um, yeah, so once we get back from our holiday, I'll go pick her up the day after and I promised Hudson that I'll take him to pick her up with me because Scarlett got to come with me and see all the puppies and he was pretty devo so he will love going to this house and seeing all the puppies um, but yeah anyway that is my quick vlog for today just thought I'd give you a quick update what's been happening and why I'm MIA um, like I said we are headed off to Bali in a few days I should be packing little gardening. I've done all my front garden. It just looks so good. I've put all new seedlings in. And I've got four bags of cow manure to go in the back garden. I've just weeded the whole pool yard, apart from the like ground bit. Um, it's pretty bright out there. But right in that um, corner just there was really, really long weeds. And I actually want to put some veggies in there. But I'm not going to be doing that till after the holiday now. I'll put some mulch in there. I'm going to do that now. And then when we get back from our holiday, I will get some veggies going. So, anyway guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in my next vlog, which will more than likely be a barley one. I hope you're all well and hope you're all having a nice Father's Day. We have had such a beautiful day. I cooked up a big breakfast this morning pancakes bacon eggs hash browns and toast and all that and just had some beautiful bruschetta for lunch and i have a barbecue planned for the sarvo i've made a beautiful big potato salad i made that yesterday so good um and corey's coming over later for barbie james has just taken dry down the shops to get him and um locky some shorts and stuff and james had to get a few tank tops and that so yeah, it's busy, busy, busy. I've got my last day in the canteen tomorrow, which is Monday, and then we are off on Tuesday morning, early, early. So bring it on, I can't wait to just, yeah, chill out, relax, have some drinks, and sit by the pool and just unwind for a few weeks. So it's gonna be great. 